Hi folks. All right, let's see. I am currently still in North Carolina, technically. I am headed to a wonderful little tourist trap called South of the Border um, within like the next hour or two. Um, and uh, then from there, I'm going on to uh, either Charleston or Savannah. Um, I plan on being in Savannah by tonight. Um, once I get to the south of the border, I'm going to see what it looks like to add Charleston to the, the trip. Um, see where I'm at time-wise. I started a lot later today than I meant to. Um, but, you know, that happens. Um, I got some rest. I was still tired, so I went back to sleep for a little bit. No point in starting the trip out tired. Um, at the moment, um, it looks like I should be in Daytona by Wednesday, maybe sooner, I don't know yet, um, lots of ums, um, 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 I didn't like fit, sit down and think this out before like doing this interview, so sorry, um, the whole trip so far, I've been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of being tired. So, I will take my time getting down to Daytona. I'll enjoy Daytona, and then I'm going to enjoy my people in Central Florida. Um, 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 blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so... Something that everybody needs to realize that a lot of people keep forgetting. Uh, I, I don't... My brain doesn't work the way it used to. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't have the patience that I used to have. I have a hard time uh, with short-term memory. I have a very hard time with short-term memory. I also get overwhelmed uh, a lot easier than I used to. Meaning that... If you want to hang out with me, I need you people, all of you, to uh, be the ones trying to make the plans and trying to make the time. I'm, I'm, I've already left Colorado. I'm already 2,500 miles into this trip and then some. That being said, I've gone this far. Uh, you guys need to step it up in helping me meet the middle. I, I've had some people that have done a really good job of doing that. And I've had a lot of people that are like, well, I don't know, you let me know. And then, like, I go to meet up with them or whatnot, and they flake out or whatnot. I don't have the money or the time for people to be flaking out, okay? Uh, I, I just don't. And I know a lot of people don't have the money to just give me money to like come see them and whatnot and that's okay uh this this, this isn't about me making any money i, I want to see people i want to make memories i want to say goodbyes uh it's very important to me to see everybody that i can possibly see in this trip because it's called the farewell tour for a reason my my doctors didn't give me the best prognosis so that being said this very literally could be my last major road trip. And if that's the case, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry if me leaving makes anybody sad. And I'm kind of happy that some people might be made sad because, you know, it, it's, it's nice to think that I would be missed. But uh, I would much rather people celebrate me than be sad about me. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. You want you want to come to my wake? Make time for me. This is my wake. Um, if I get lucky, I'll be like Kiss, and there'll be five or six farewell tours, and that'd be amazing. But this thing has been financially crippling, so it might not be realistic to do this again financially, even not uh, not even counting my health. But with my health, it's not 
it's not highly likely to happen again. Um, I really, really, really hope that's not the case. I really hope to look like a dumbass, like, you know, 20 years from now. And people going, I thought you said you were dying. That'd be nice. <laughs> but the reality is, I am dying. Um, dying faster than most. And, you know, I'll tell you, I've had a couple of people make the joke, you know, because they're trying to lighten the mood. Um... In fact, I bit Jonah's head off for it, and I still really feel really bad about that. Um, I normally joke about everything, and he was just kind of following that, that lead and made the joke cool when I said, you know, I'm dying. And he's like, well, isn't everybody? And I got really upset. I do get really upset about that sometimes because it's not easy to talk about this shit. It really isn't. So if I'm talking to you about it, please don't make fun of it. Like, please don't make light of it. It's not light. Um, I have another friend who I just watched hit his limit on people joking about uh, his own uh, life struggle right now. And he was hanging around with a bunch of us that make fun of things that bother us uh, by, by just attacking them and making fun of them and taking their power away. Uh, and and we were kind of doing that, and it got to be too much, and it upset him. We all felt really bad about it because that's not what, that's not what our goal was. Um, <laughs> but uh, and he's a really strong person, and it made me realize I should probably say something because I don't very often say something when the shit's bothering me. I just make fun of it and move on. But the reality is, people, I'm not doing good. I'm, I'm mentally, I'm not doing good with this whole I'm dying thing. It stresses me the hell out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally pretty beaten by it. And I'm trying to stay strong. And I've got some amazing people in my corner. But, uh person that I have the most in my corner, the one that I miss the most, is back home, going through her own struggles, so when I get emotional and I get all stressed out and pissed off or because little things like are stressing me out, um, or I don't seem like normal, happy, bouncy me. I'm not. I'm not me. <laughs> part of me died already. Um, part of my personality is gone. Uh, I can feel it, and that's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The parts of me that I can feel that slipped away... I don't know how to describe how that feels, but it's pretty horrible. I, I've said several times since this whole thing happened that I understand the, the frustration and the anger um, that Alzheimer's patients like tend to um, show. I don't know the right word. Um, things like that. I'm, I'm very... I talk all the time. I've always talked a lot. And people usually don't mind listening to me because I'm very articulate when I speak. I have a very decent vocabulary, if not a good vocabulary, for someone who's not that book smart and not that educated. I'm an intelligent person, um, even though I do some dumb things sometimes, but we all do. Um, but things like that where the right word is just not there. It, it happens a lot now. Um, so if you're watching this um, and you you care to see me or you want some more time with me online or whatever, um, reach out. Stop trying to make me do all the work. Now when I got to the Carolinas, 
I almost missed some very, very important people. Because they were like, well, we were waiting for you to get closer. I'm about to do three states. Okay? Three states in one day. Don't wait until I'm on top of you. Okay? Don't. Reach out now. Start figuring things out. Try to stay in touch with me. My short-term memory sucks. It's gone. It's on you to keep me on path to see you if you want to see me. I can't remember everything. So if you want to see me and it's important, then you reach out to me and you tell me when you want to see me. Um, and I can't see everybody all at once. It's going to be a trickle effect. And I really want to see everybody that wants to see me. Anybody that wants to see me, I want to be seen. Um, this whole thing is about making more memories, more good memories. I left the East Coast abruptly, um, not planned. It was, I did not plan to move away forever. I've been trying to get away from North Carolina my whole life, and I finally did, by accident. And now I live in the middle of the country with no real friends. I've got like three people in Colorado, not counting my partner. <clears throat> so four people in Colorado. Four. I got 40 people in North Carolina. That may be a little high number, but I've got at least 14 really good people in the Triangle area alone. And then I got people in, in Burlington and Graham and Mebbin and like Winston and Greensboro and Wilmington and like all over the fucking Carolinas. So, and I got people all over Florida too. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Warren Blows is a driver. God, sorry about all the background noise, but I'm traveling, so I'm stopped at a gas station. You can see the camper behind me. So this is my this is my update. Um, if you want to see me, make it happen. You make it, it happen. I I'm gonna do the travel. You do the communicating, and you do the 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 continuity. You you, you keep things together so I get to come see you because don't rely on me to remember shit because I can't remember shit I don't remember nothing um, it sucks I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night I take pictures of what I ate the night before so I can see what I ate the night before there's a gnat flying in my face but uh yeah, so, I can't remember what I ate last night. I sure as hell can't, like, keep track of who all I'm supposed to see on what days and what towns. So, reach out, stay in touch with me, communicate with me on a regular basis until you see me. Like, put some effort in if you want to see me. And I'll do my damnedest to make it happen. But today is South Carolina, Georgia, like, uh... East, Eastern Georgia, Coastal Georgia, um, and uh, Florida. So, love everybody. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for all the support.